Hey, how's it going guys? It's Silent here, and we are back with Mo Error. So in the last episode, we pretty much got closest to Simmer. I'm quite interested to see what we're going to be unlocking now, when it's going to be Korea Day, like in the game, after, uh, after this little scene here, I'm assuming. So let's see what we can get ourselves up to. Man, I'm beat. My mind still goes over what I heard on the, on the way home. Never judge, but judge by, ju never judge a book by its cover, right? Should I give Ermin's game another go? But first, let me check on my sister. I thought we finished the um game. I can't believe you came home empty-handed again. That girl from yesterday come again, saying she needs to check on your progress. I replied that you can handle everything yourself. By the way, what was in that document she gave you? Honestly, I forgot about that strange pixelated thing. Hmm. It is a bit different today. Just my imagination, probably. Same as yesterday. Who on earth writes this nonsense? Alright, time for Emmy's, Emmy's masterpiece. We'll play it again. I'm in this room again. The girl is staring at me, awaiting eagerly what's going to happen next. But the truth is, nothing's going to happen. No one's going to play this game of a, a joke of a game. So I could as so I could as well just write a develop history here. It's time to be fair with myself. I lack imagination to write anything at all. It's I mean I wrote quite a lot, but it took me so much time. And the truth is, it's all worthless. The characters don't live; they're made up. I've made up myself. I don't know what to write next. I really don't know. My mind is totally empty. Like a uh, jeez, I can't even come up with a sort of description. The plot, you say, is non-existing. It's a cliché of a cliché of a cliché. <laughs> it's just like me. And you know what? That's what people want. They don't want my originality. But I fail even at copying things in a proper way. What did I say to say with all of this? Who's going to read it? Man, I wanted this game to be exciting, but so boring. The characters I've seen in, in all countless times. A random bunch of characters thrown together in one room. My game is empty. I am empty. The real answer is that there's none. It's all pointless. I wanted to turn this game into a dating simulator or whatnot. But how can I write anything about a date if my current goal is to hold hands with a girl? How can I come up with a decent plot if nothing happens in my life? I know nothing about the past and the future. And my present is time. My present time is, well, meaningless. Jeez, I wish someone would just put an end to my misery. Maybe I'd be a decent answer. It'd be a decent af answer after all. Hello, hello. Just don't leave me alone, please. Don't leave me alone. I can be a good friend. I swear. How come there are so many people in the world yet I'm alone? Does it mean I'm the worst? No, no way. My game will show them all. I just need to come up with a decent answer. Yes. Please don't leave me alone. All right. I really need to discuss it with Ernie. <laughs> Let's hope it's just a joke. Okay, time to do my homework. Man, this guy's depressed. You're kidding me. This room and the arcade machine already feel similar to me. I don't even feel nauseous anymore. I decided to move forward a bit just to see what's going on behind that corner. I can't, I can't for some reason. Then I decided to turn around and see what's happening there. Nope, can't. So you're supposed to follow the script of this dream, I think. I approached the vending machine again. Well, where are we going today? How about us, how about we say Australia? Free? Is this the budget version of free? <laughs> Freedom. Wait a second, I've got it. When the machi machine starts to show USA, I realize where it's all going. We're going to America. By the way, have I discussed my dreams with anyone? I can't remember where I actually am in real life. If I did, I'd simply wake up. Fine. Okay. Is that a train? An airplane? What's that making that noise? The sound is so repetitive. That's what you think of my piano skills, Tyrone. <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome back. I start playing the same note right after you dozed off. 
Turns out you're quite a light sleeper. Anyway, our class starts in a few, so you better get yourself all together. Oh jeez, thanks for waking me up. You know I'm always sleeping a rainy day. You're welcome. Hey, can you play something for me, right now, before everyone else comes in? Oh, um, I'm not that good at piano, you see. Good enough for me, I assure you. Well, if you insist, don't expect much, okay? He starts playing a simple yet elegant melody. How do you like it? Somehow, that's what I thought you'd play. So I don't think it counts as an answer. <laughs> hey, you don't think I can only play melodies this easily, do you? Here we go. I love the sound of piano, though. She switches to a more complicated piece. My goodness, I make way too many mistakes. Really? I can't hear a single one, I swear. Tyrone, you're flattening me. Flattering. And now the in interlude. <laughs> okay, class. On a rainy day like this, music is a necessity for me. Let's finish early today. You need to get ready for the career day. Oh, and it's Friday, you know. I'm scared of people who try hard on Friday. What are we going to discuss today? I intend to cover a few basics of music the uh, theory, but... Between us, music isn't about theory. I think a few notes is all you need to create a memorable melody. You know why? Because music influences your mood. Cheerful and mellow, gloomy and... Melonic? I don't know. Music can be very diff... diff... differy. <laughs> That's why I always tell people I don't have a favourite band. Everything goes as long as the mood is right. People probably compliment your taste in music, Hermie. Maybe, but they hide it well. By the way, sometimes it feels like music controls me. Frequency and volume of a sound have enormous impacts on humans. In fact, music can act as the weapon of mass destruction. Anyway, let's get back on track. Your task for today is to enjoy some music. How cool is that? Ermi, I've heard you're really good at piano. But thanks, you too. Would you be so kind to play sync for us? Oh, and today we discussed music therapy, remember? Therapy. Anything specific you want to play? No, it's up to you. Alright, you can count on me. Ermi gets ready, his fingers tw uh, twitching over the keyboard like he's already playing. Okay. Oh, Ermi. Let's cut you, man. No, to pronounce that. He's marvelous. <laughs> as far as I can, I can say on that one. <laughs> and a rainy day suits it so well. It's sad to know that my favorite uh, composer had a tragic life. Born in 1810 in Germany. He intended to pursue a career as a virtual pianist. However, a hand injury destroyed his plans and made him switch to composing. Who knows? Maybe he would have never created this masterpiece if not for that accident. He suffered from a mental disorder and died in the, at an asylum when he was only 46. It's really to think that his music would stay with us forever. Just listen. Stay a while and listen, move on to the next track. She seems to like it, so... She's moving, so I don't, think we, I don't believe we can cut it off. I think we generally can sit here and listen to it. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. So we have to go through all the different girls, I think. Wow. Ermi, to think that you... To think that you also like Eric Staffy. His Geomolopedy, <laughs> number one, is fantastic. Listen to it on repeat while studying. He was born in France back in 1866. A beautiful Normandy. I want to visit it again where flowers blossom. Do you know the way Cypher preferred to introduce himself? He refers to himself as... 
chemotherapist instead of musician. Because he was once called clumsy but subtle technician by critics. That he died at the age of 59, years of heavy drinking took its toll. I guess alcohol is a killer talent for killing talents. <laughs> anyway, just listen. We can listen to his piece for a little bit. Right, let's carry on. Chopin, it's Chopin. I mean, you better, you better than I thought. It is op nine, op uh, number one in B flat minor. It's a real masterpiece. Frederick Chopin was a Polish composer born in 1810. Yes, the name as the same as him. What a year, by the way. <laughs> uh, it's just an admired Chopin. Coincidentally, Chopin also died really early at the age of 39. He settled in Paris at the age of 21. I wish he lived back th there back then. Chopin supported himself by giving piano lessons, aside from composing. I'd trade weeks worth of my lunch money just for one lesson of his. Alright, maybe a week is too much. Whatever, just listen. <laughs> I enjoyed the pianos, to be fair. Alright, let's carry on. The rain stopped and it's getting sunny now. That was magnificent, Ermi. Thank you so much. By the way, Tyrone, you didn't say a word. Anything wrong? To compensate for this, you're now obligated to play something. <laughs> yeah, Tyrone, you do this now. <laughs> yes, yes, I want to hear for I want to hear him playing. Hold on, hold on. I don't know how to play the piano. I've heard that music is about inspiration. My, sounds like an interesting exercise. Everyone, why don't you tell someone what, what you enjoy in music? Like, broadly speaking? Exactly. Based on this information, he, he will exactly improvise. Go easy on him, okay? Hey, I'm afraid it won't help much. Once again, I can't play. Well then, Tyrone. Use the first octave only. Trust me, even pressing just one key at a time would do the trick. I'm sure you'll like your melody. What's the first oct octave? Ermi's going to show you, right? Uh, show you, right Ermi, my dear? Alright class, time to tell someone what kind of music you like. I'll go first. What do you like, Nene? Let me think. Hmm, you know what? I like seven different genres. <laughs> if I were to pick the first one... As is progressive rock, where a five, uh, five string guitar often meets classical instruments. My three favourite bands are, yes, King Crimson and Wishbone Ash. The name of the genre is often shortened by just four letters prog. How am I supposed to handle this information? <laughs> well, as Nanny already mentioned, r mentioned rock, I'll go ahead and jump my second favourite genre. I began to enjoy hip hop music about two years ago. First and foremost, it's all about the beat, the rhythm. I always prefer the alternative or abstract hip hop to the mainstream ones. F, uh, MF Doom, Mad, Mad, Madlid, <laughs> A Tribe Called Quest, The Far Side, Wu Tang Clang is my top five. This is no better. Classical music's my love at the first sight, I thought it would have been. The Busy, uh, Boradin and him are my three favourite composers. You know which genre comes second in terms of complexity? Two ways to name it, Jungle and DMB. Don't you believe me? Listen to Source Direct, uh, Dub 1 key, uh, key, B Key. These, are f these three will blow your mind. I feel a clear class lack of sa sanity in this room. It's time Tyrone. Ermi, don't forget to help him out. Ah, uh, we have to do this ourselves. Look, here's the first octave. Yeah, these keys. This is the white ones, alright? Keep it simple. Yeah. 
It ain't much, but it's honest work. Sounds great. Very well. How about we're in that class here on a major note, so to speak? I need to say something from the staff room right now. You guys wait here. As it's far from break time, please don't go please don't be too loud. But let's start packing up. You guys. You didn't even ask me about my favourite music. But I do remember you said said that everything goes if it's not if it's the right mute mood. Yeah, true that, but one exception is the rule is the Smiths. I really like them. Who doesn't? <laughs> Try Inji Bottom. It plays somewhat similar music before it became mainstream. I will. By the way, we only discussed music today, but movies are equality, equally important. I enjoy The Night at the Hunter. It's a Wonderful Life and Paper Moon. I bet these movies are way too old. <laughs> Time only makes them better, Nene. -ne. They age like wine. I wish we all did. <laughs> Marta, have you been up to the states that are pinned on the map? The one behind you? Sure, this land of free and home to the brave. My home sweet home, and it's my obligation to know it well. And which state is your favourite? Texas, by far. Texas? It's like you're fond of shooting ranges and pick up trucks? Very funny. Don't you forget about barbecue. Well, it's actually true at least to a certain extent, but... It's more about the people, how sincere they are, and all. I've heard people in America are usually not that sincere, you said. <laughs> there are two Afri uh, Africas. So let's go with the US and... Uh, Amer there's two Amer Americas. Let's go with the US, and even then you have to be more Pacific. See, see, East Day is totally unique in the US. Well, big cities kind of look all the same, though. What's so important about Texas? People are not very superficial there. Are you talking about fake smiles and all? No, that's not it. Being superficial is about, about something else. Always being excessively enthusiastic. Showing off new cars, houses, etc. While, be, while being knee-deep in mortgages. <laughs> the American dream. I don't think people remember what it is anymore. I think the whole world thinks everything is about in the US. Appears to be better, Tyrone. Appears to be better. <laughs> Though when we get our degrees and all, you know what would be different between between us? You'll be bragging about about your new flat, while I'll be playing off my new my student loans. Paying off my student loans. Are you sure you love your country? <laughs> I do. And that's why I'm so concerned. Class, let's go. Once again, please don't be loud. Where's Ermi? He's still packing up. Just a quick reminder before we go. Girls, you're in charge of the handouts. I hope they're ready. We don't want to disappoint our guests, right? Right, Nana. Are you ready? Might I ask where are your handouts? Well, I forgot to prepare mine. Mine? I'd say you totally bombed it. Consider yourself lucky that I don't give grades today. By the way, I, I also participate. My booth is called Grown Ups Life Horrors. It's whore, co it's whore Corners, of course. I just know, we promote uh, diversity. Inflexible generalities are d diversity's worst enemy. Come and laugh, come and laugh at it with me. As the girls are still setting up, I decide to go check on Taya's booth. Taya has two displays set up in her space. The first one resembles a corporate world, I guess. Welcome, Tyrone. So, let me walk for you through a mock interview for... prestigious jobs. What kind of job is this? Um, Doesn't matter, Tyrone. Let's just say it's a Fortune 500 company. Fortune 500 is 500, the world's 500 largest companies. Every first graduate dreams to have his first job at a company like this. They say now it's more trendy than join startups. They say a lot until it's time to pay off education loans. Well, what are you going to ask me about? Not so fast, Tyrone. First prove yourself worthy of reaching the interview stage. Let me have a look at your um, CV. 
and well, uh, as cover as well as cover letter. Okay. Uh, what? What are you talking about? Next, please. All right, I'm just kidding. Ready for the interview? I'm ready. For starters, let me ask you one simple question. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? 10 years? Well, I don't know. It's important to predict, I guess. It's impossible to predict, I guess. Why 10 though, not seven or 12? Sorry, but we're looking for candidates with a clear long-term vision of their goals. Tell me about the time you demonstrated yourself as a valuable team player. Also, what are your development areas? Uh, I need to be develop everything. I think I'm still in school after all. Thank you for your time and interest in our company. We'll call you back. This is still a bit strange, by the way. Production department messed up. So let's move on. Maybe this is your piece of the cake. Okay. Taylor directs my attention to another display just next to her. You know, on second thought, it's not always about paychecks and big names. Hit this awesome starter, for instance. By the time, feel free to ask a bite. I have some fresh baked gluten-free cookies with me. Best like a hip co-working place at Bay Area. Where's the application form and all? What are you talking about? Startups look for people who can think outside the box. Just tell me why you want to join the family. Family? It's all about their mindset, Tyrone. At the startup scene, people often see themselves as family members rather than colleagues. What's the startup betrayed about? Oh, it's irrelevant. All that matters is that they are sure to disrupt the market. But if you insist, so it's a mobile app that connects taxi drivers with passengers. Innovate, huh? Wait, but it isn't the same as any other taxi app on the market. Ha, huh. here the mission is different. The mission is to connect people we encourage ourselves to learn more, more about each other during a ride, okay? Nothing helps to build diversity and inclusion better than a taxi ride. We need friendships. Friendship is magic. I see. There's even a stock chart. Yes, are you as you can see, the price is about to skyrocket. Just look at the forecast. Seems legitimate. <laughs> Was it fun, Tyrone? I have mixed feelings. Hence the grown up life horrors. The Grown Up Life Horror is all about mixed feelings. Actually, the purpose of my booth is to show you how stereotypes work. In real life, both corporate and startup worlds have a lot to, to offer. We live in time where you can do whatever you want. Moreover, you can even get paid for it. Anyway, Tyrone, who are you going to help with your handouts? The still Simmer. A promise is a promise, so I help Simmer. Okay, A, B, C, capital, A, always be closing, always be closing, huh? <laughs> Simmer helps some large company who, le who seamlessly sells everything in the world. Hi Tyrone, I'm glad you volunteered to help me here. So what's the job you advertise? A manager. A manager of what? Or a brand, it's called a brand manager. Oh, it means selling stuff. No, these are the guys from the sales department. And it means being responsible for the design and all that. No, once again, the other guy do this. What? Well, what am I supposed to do then? Be the one in charge of making things happen. Look, can you help me with the handouts? Just be ready to give me some more, okay? I see our first visitor. It's a girl from another class. Oh, wow. This company is so cool. Like, everyone would be excited to work there. You bet. Would you like to be part of this company? Yeah, although I'm a bit concerned about one thing. What exactly? I've heard your company is sexist. In, um, what regard? I heard it's heavily biased against women. Who told you this? You know, they say that the work itself is far. The issue, the issue is with the recruiting process. They mainly recruit males, and that's a problem. It can't be, look. Now I'm concerned as well. <laughs> I'm going to ask her a re representative. Cool, I'm waiting here. Simba comes back after a few minutes. Okay, now I know everything, and I can assure you that everything is fair. So... 
So the recruiting is today fair, is totally fair because they do blind hiring. You pass all the tests, and you do a written case, all anonymously. Your identity is only revealed once the 20 best results are identified. This year they plan to hire 20 interns again. Oh I see, but... How can last year 15 males and only 5 males were hired? The girl puts on a smug face and leaves. What's wrong with her? I'm here for equality. I really support it. Another girl approaches our booth. Hey, wow, big name here. Didn't expect it. You want to work here? Of course. I'm afraid it won't let me get in. To me, I guess a little more tense knowing that what's going to happen next. Why do you think so? What do you mean? I'm not good enough yet. Simply as that. However, you see more. Be you will see me becoming the best in no me the best in no time. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean. I'm sure you make it. Look, aren't you afraid that the recruiting process would be unfair? Do I need to have connections to get in the what? No, of course not. They use blind hiring. You pass all the tests and you do a written case, all anonymously. Your identity will only be revealed once the 20 best results are identified. This year they plan to hire 20 interns. Ha! Ah, and everything depends on only, only on me. Moreover, I call my friends. There'll be 20 female interns. <laughs> Takes a hand out and leaves. See, it's her own. It's all about your personality. Everything else co uh, doesn't matter. I fully agree with this. We return to our class after that. I think we did well. Why don't we celebrate? Let's go, Doz Doz Dozier. I'm afraid it's way too expensive for me. Marta, I have this voucher, remember? Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about it. Cool, I want to go. I'll be happy to join you. Wait, the voucher is valid for two, and there's five of us. The rest is in the, is in, is on the house. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is generous of you. You're the best. Thank you so much. The pleasure is all mine. By the way, Ermi's still nowhere to be seen, huh? Well, I'll send him a text. Let's go. So I need to talk to him about his game, man. Everyone, order what you like. Well, everything is pricey here. Say, we won't discuss school stuff, right? Right? Don't look that boring. Feel free to talk about anything you want. Why don't we talk about you, then? About me? Do I look that interesting? He seems generally surprised. Well, we know a little about you, so I second Marta's idea. Yeah, like, what do you love? What do you hate? Tell us. Don't forget to mention your favorite food. <laughs> All right. I'm indifferent to food. The only thing that bothers me is staying in shape. And believe it or not, I love and eat at this. I love and hate at the same thing. Money. Knowledge. People. <laughs> not even close. I love and hate time. I'm curious to know why. Say we're having a great time now, and I fully enjoy it. But, but it can't stay like this forever, regardless of what I do. At the same time, a bad day seems endless. How is this fair? Oh, and time is mercilessly judged when you get when you're getting older. Ironically enough, you only start to value time when it's too late. You can love time, but time will never love you back. I guess it would be nice to have all the time in the world. I don't think so. It would devalue the sense of achievement. It was all well worth this, the time spent. Only one year until I graduate and start living large. Time forces you to do something. I don't feel like it, to be honest. Simply because it's still early morning for you, Nana. Don't, don't you contradict yourself with what you just said. <laughs> contradict, you say? My, a very subtle word indeed, Simmer. Time is contradictory. That's why I love and hate it parallel. Our waiter finally arrives. I think they should work faster at a place like this. <laughs> he certainly took his time. We're about to get going. In fact, Taya almost left us. And waiting for the girls to return from the bathroom. The first one to come back is Simmer. Welcome back. Where are the others? Still there. They told me to come first. I have no idea why. I have an awesome place. It's an awesome place, right? It sure is. My second time here now only gets better.
Oh, she's been here before? I couldn't help it. Nene's voucher looked way too exciting. <laughs> Why don't you tell us? It was, it was, well, it's an expensive place, so I tried to be considerate. Very nice of you. Once we turn here, I thought I can't afford myself a dinner, though. I'd rather have a nice one of their delicious cakes. Back then, did you go alone with your family? Alone? My family's in another country, silly. Right, I'm being stupid. Is it just me or do you want me want to tell me something? Well, I don't know where to begin. Anywhere would do. So I'd really like to return here, but I don't want to go alone. Why don't you take care of me? This guy seems a bit lonely. Oh my, it sounds like a polite rejection. I should probably... That's not exactly... That's not what you expect me to say. It means you did want to tell me something. See? I thought it'd be cool to return here with a girl. How romantic. Who could this girl be? You? Me? You want to invite me along? Oh my. Forget it. I know you're not interested. You probably have a... White, uh, a wait list of other guys and all. So stupid of me. You're only stupid because you managed to get it all wrong. I repeat it for the first and last time, Tyrone. You want me to invite... Do you want to invite me along to come? I, I do. I accept. What? Between us? This is my first invitation. But please be gentle, okay? You're kidding me. I'm not. That dinner I had here. I didn't go alone because I wanted I wanted you to, I wanted to, you know. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How about we go tomorrow? Sure, I'm looking forward to it. Will 2 p.m. work for you? Sure. Alright, we got ourselves a date with Simmer. <laughs> with that being said, looks like the the day is just about to end here, so this is where I'm gonna be ending this episode. So if you guys are enjoying what you've seen so far, hopefully leave a like in the video, it helps me out greatly. That being said, I'll see you guys next time. Take care guys, thank you so much for watching.